I'm Eric Nasa with NewShooter.com, and we are at NAB 2019. I'm at the Aperture booth with Ted, and we are talking about something pretty cool. You showed us to, last night at the secret dinner last night, which, thanks again, that was a really Absolutely. nice, beautiful dinner and yeah. great product. So sure. let's talk about what I think is one of the most exciting releases that you have. Absolutely. I think that this is actually our biggest release of NAB. Uh, really excited about this one. We held back for that dinner to really showcase this and actually do a real launch demo for it. But this right here is the new Aperture, is the new Citus Link app from Aperture. Mm -hmm. Now, Citus is Latin for universe. So again, we're trying to make a universe, a cinematic universe of Aperture lighting goods and how to actually make them communicate. So one of the things that we're building into all of our new lights, including the 300D Mark II, the MC, the RC, all of our new lights, this RGB panel behind me is that they're all gonna have not just Wi-Fi, they're not just gonna have the ability to control to them, but it's actually gonna be powered off a SIG Bluetooth mesh network. So if you don't know what the mesh network is, basically last year this technology just came out. It's literally cutting edge. We just put it into our actual technology and gear. But the mesh network isn't on is basically unlike regular Bluetooth. With regular Bluetooth, your phone has to connect to each of the actual lights, and if you're out of range of one of the lights, you lose control of that. And if your phone dies, the entire network collapses. Two, it's not like regular wireless where you have to connect to a router. Normally you have a bunch of lights, they all connect to one router. For example, the Philips lights do that. It's not like that as well because if the router dies, the entire lights collapse. What this is, this is actually creating a network between all of your lights. So all of your lights are not only acting as receivers, but they're also acting as transmitters. They're all talking to each other. And they're all creating a wireless network. So all of your aperture lights, some of the ones that you already have are going to be able to do this, talk to each other, communicate. And what that's going to do is that's going to extend the amount of connections that you can add. You can actually do up to 65,000 connections on one single app, wow. one single network. You can actually extend the lights up to 400 meters away. 400 meters, that's four football fields. And all you have to do is have 80 meters in between each step. Again, approximately one football field between each step to be able to get your distance. And if your phone dies, if one of your lights dies, not a problem because the entire network is all connecting to each other. That one light that died doesn't matter because all the other lights are communicating with it. If your phone dies, the network is still existing because all the lights exist without you. So all you have to do is go into a new phone, log in, you'll automatically have all of your presets and all of your controls ready to go because the network is there. Wow. In this app, you're going to be able to control basically everything that you expect and want to be able to control. You're going to be able to go through, I can change my whites, I can change my intensity, I can take it up and down, change my dimming curves, I can change my color temperature, of course, on a light like this, 2,800 all the way up to 10,000. But this is a smart app that will actually adapt to what lights are there. So when you connect apps and you connect lights to this actual app, what will happen is the light will actually communicate, tell the app, hey, here are the functions that I have, here are the features that I have, here are the effects that I can do, Here's the menu system for you. So every menu is going to be custom made from the actual light. So if it is an RGB light, you're gonna see RGB controls. If it's just a daylight light, you're gonna see daylight controls. Nice. If it's a if it's a bicolor light, you will see bicolor controls. All of this is a smart, intuitive design, so you don't have a lot of wasted menus there sitting around. We tried to make this thing as clean and ergonomic and elegant as possible. Mm -hmm. In addition to that, we've also got things like gels. Of course, we've got the entire Lee and Roscoe gels put in here. We've got over 300 gels built in. CTO, CTB, you can do the math. This app We'll do the math for you again. You're putting, say, a quarter CTB on a 3200 Kelvin light, or you're saying a quarter straw on a 5600 Kelvin light. This will do all that math for you, no problem. In addition to that, you've also got source matching and color matching modes. So, one of the things we talked about last year was the idea of a color picker, and we are working on one. We have a spectrometer still that will come out with this RGB light behind me. But in the meanwhile, we have source match and color match on the phone. So if I look around here and I say, hey, there's a green fluorescent light over there, I can actually take my phone, go over here, take a photo of it, and bang, this light will automatically match it and be green. Or if I see ugly fluorescent lights, I'm in a classroom, I see a little bit of purple in there, bang, just take a photo, this will match that exact kind of ugly fluorescent to make sure that your lighting still matches overall. Color match is the same thing. I can grab this little red from the new shooter logo, or this little red from here. I can grab any color that I see in the real world around me. There's some very bright orange shoes in front of me. Mm -hmm. I can grab those orange shoes, take a picture, it'll snap the color automatically, and I can save that to my presets. That's awesome. Next, you've also got a full preset store that we're actually gonna be building into the cloud. You'll actually be able to share and exchange all of your presets with your friends. You have an account built into this app that you can actually send. So if you say, hey, I got this Wes Anderson yellow that I love, I can send it all the way to my friend in London who's shooting their next feature. He can use that Wes Anderson yellow, make sure that we're matching, no problems. Next up, we've also got effects. There's a whole bunch of stuff in this app. <laughs> One of the cool things about this app is that the effects are actually all built in. We'll have a store and you're gonna be able to make custom effects in the future. So. 
If, for instance, you want to make up something like a Morse code signal for saying, I'm an awesome filmmaker and your light's going to flash and say that, you can do that. You can send it to your friends. But we've got pre-built in effects, things like paparazzi, strobe, fireworks, and things now like explosions, fire. Explosions are effects that can be triggered. All you have to do is tap and your lights will automatically pop. You can group your lights together and this is not just an app for the new aperture lights. It's also an app for all the old aperture lights. So, if wait, wait, got, wait, wait, yes. wait. You can use this app with all the, I mean, we're talking way back? I'm talking super way back. So, <laughs> a lot of you guys out there know already, if you own an aperture remote, you're like, man, I bought the 672 six years ago from Aperture. Mm -hmm. You know that exact same remote is what powers the 300D Mark II and powers yep. all of your new lights. Yep. We're not about leaving you behind. What this app is going to be able to do is we're coming out with something called the Sidus Link Bridge. Sidus Link Bridge, super, super simple, little converter that you leave on set, plug it into house power. And what this is going to do is this is actually going to connect to your phone, connect to the actual network, and all of your old lights that have wireless control are now going to have the ability to do paparazzi, have the ability to do fireworks, have the ability to do strobing, have the ability to explode, group, connect, talk to each other. Honestly, it's building in new functionality for all of your old aperture lights, and it's not going to be at any cost. That must have been pretty pretty fun when you got that first demo to work and to watch those you know the first line of your panels doing you know fireworks and yes, doing paparazzi absolutely and it's bringing new life to old products yeah, you know cool. and I, I love this because there's so many old aperture users out there with 120d mark ones for instance guess what your 120d mark one can now dim up dim down no problem whatsoever i can control it all wirelessly now now the uh that module when is that going to be available and when do you think the pricing will be for it yeah so this app we're trying to release at the end of the summer app is totally free we're releasing it for free for everyone, of course. The actual module, the Link Bridge, mm -hmm. that's going to be, we're trying to keep it under $100, trying to make it super affordable. Well, that's a good deal. That's all filmmakers good can just bring on set. Yeah, man. Yeah. Awesome. And when do you think it'll be available? At the end of the summer. End of summer. All yeah. right. Well, thanks, Ted. This is really great. Anything else you want to add about this? This is just really exciting. I'm I think excited. it's really great. I'm excited about Source Match. I'm excited about Color Match. I'm excited for you guys to give it a try. Again, it's a lot of feedback that we got from you. So, as always, leave some questions in the comments. Let us know what you think. We always see this stuff. One quick question. Yes. We have the RG. GB Let's do W it. light and uh, give us an update cool. because uh, you have made some improvements on it Absolutely. and it uh, looks like it's getting a little little well you tell me what's going on 100% <laughs> so what we're showing off today is the new version of the aperture RGB panel again people have been kind of coming here and testing and touching this panel all day super super high quality very robust as we've expected we don't want this to be a cheap plastic RGB light on the market we've been trying we've been putting honestly up to four years into this now of just trying to make the perfect RGB light that's robust that's serious that's heavy duty that indie filmmakers can actually own and feel like they actually can use on their five-ton, three-ton grip trucks. Yeah. So, a couple updates real quick. We built the ballast into the actual design. So not only is this actually brighter than a SkyPanels S30 right now, but better color fidelity as well. You can do the tests on that by yourself, of course. And we're actually building the ballast into the entire unit should be lighter as well. Again, prototype units here. Things always change, but we're doing the best here. We expect this to release. We expect this to release in the summer of 2019 takes us time we really wanted to get it out earlier but there's always things that we want to do that are better a couple improvements we've made this a junior pin baby pin oh, adapter like that. that's good what that means is that i can actually slip the entire thing it'll work as a baby pin mount or this entire full mount by itself can actually slip into a junior pin mount too one of the small improvements again we saw it in the comments made sure we had to change it in time this will work of course with the sidus link app i can actually be able to color match and all that stuff here this should be releasing again summer 2019 price point we think it's going to be about $1,600, so again, we're trying to cut the competition, trying to make something that's about a third the cost of a lot of what's out there. We want it to be something that people can actually own and use on a regular day-to-day -day basis. I think these improvements that you've made as well worth the wait. I, I, the ballast, when we watched, we saw so the one cleaner. before. You remember it, yeah. right? Yes, I do. And it, it was this huge. Is, this is better. Yeah. And and also, you say that it's, it's going to be brighter than the original prototype. So you're getting how Absolutely. much more percentage-wise you think you're, you're pushing out now? Yeah, I don't want to drop specs because I know the new shooter audience is a very smart audience. I want you guys to actually test it out for yourselves. We have been able to test it just a side-by-side -side to an S30. It's a couple points brighter. but okay. uh, well, that's, that's a big deal. Photometrics will come out when they do, and we'll be excited for that. Yeah, looks really great, Ted. Thanks a lot. Appreciate cool. it. Thanks so much.